everybody. I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins channel. My subject today is about sisters be getting upset with me because they be seeing me talk to other nationalities of women. It ain't my fault they be fine. And then they want to give me that look like they be wanting to whoop my ass. So, uh, <clears throat> the reason why I'm making this video is for brothers that go through the same thing. <clears throat> Let's get started. All right. <laughs> here's how the story, here's how it goes. All right. Brothers. Now, I like to dress nice. I like to look nice. That's just me. You know. Uh, I like wearing nice, you know, shirts, ties, and everything. I like to look decent, presentable, you know, approachable. Now, brothers, you know firsthand when you looking tight and you looking your best, women will notice, right? Right. Now, if you really looking your best and then some, women will not only notice, they will come over and let you know. Right? Right. Now, I over here in the Midwest, like I said, there's a lot of fine women out here of all different nationalities. Black, white, Arabic, Chinese, Oriental, Mexican, Italian, Vietnamese, Russian. Ah, I can go on and on and on. So, I'm sitting here, you know, chilling. Trying to figure out what I'm going to talk about in my videos. And, you know, a nice Muslim. And she's a uh, Sunni Muslim. And they have nice, uh, they have their body covered up. <laughs> Something be fine. She happened to be one of them. And, you know, we just have a casual conversation. So, <clears throat> sister walked by and she come and walk over. And the Arabic. Woman looked at me and she like, ooh, are you in trouble? It looked like she might want to beat your ass. I'm like, oh, well, I'm not in trouble. I don't know her. I mean, we're the same color, but I don't know her. So she, uh, you know, walked by us and everything, and uh, she didn't really look at the air one too much. She looked at me. Like, I had never seen this sister before a day in my life. She wasn't bad looking. You know, she gave me that look like, you know, <laughs> don't get your ass whipped today. You know, so we kept on talking and everything. Sister turns back around and comes back again. Excuse me. I saw a girl right here. She looked like, you know what? You lucky you ain't mine. Because I would bust you and your shit right now. And I'm like, oh, here we go again. And the, the thing is, I can understand if, you know, me and the woman that's of a different nationality, may we kissing in public or I'm trying to fill on her titties or something or trying to stick my finger in her pussy. I'm just being honest, you know. She rubbing all of me in my private parts and we in public in front of her. Okay, I can understand maybe she'd be, you know, all right, motherfucker. But no. You know, and it's sad because I get this a lot. And I'm just like, you know, sisters always want to look like they want to whoop my ass. You know, and no matter what, I can understand if uh, my conversation towards a woman of a different nationality, where I'm like, yeah, well, what's up, baby? You look mighty nice in them jeans. That ass is looking kind of tight. You know what I'm saying? I think I want to go on and see how big your ass is. Let's go get a room. You know, your titties is big as hell. Bam, woo! In front of her. All right. She want to whoop my ass. Okay, I got that. Mm. We just be having a regular conversation. It could be about the weather. Or giving her directions on somewhere she needs to go, or just you know a trivial regular conversation that's not talking about flirting, fucking, kissing, going to a room, going out to dinner, or being alone so we can get that first kiss on. No, this just regular stuff. Is this she looking like okay? He all tight and everything, looking intellectual, speaking intellectual, you know, little sellout motherfucker. I mean, man, it's sad and. She came back around, and I know that look. I mean, brothers, y'all know that look when a sister wants to whoop your ass for talking not only to another nationality of woman, and then they also fine, too. 
and they didn't already sized up the woman's like, okay, if he play his cards right, he could get her phone number. And, you know, one thing lead to the next, you know. And um, it's sad, man. I mean, one time I was talking to a Mexican girl. We were just friends, you know. No, nothing sexual or nothing. Three sisters came around the corner. Man, the look they gave me. It was that look like, if you was my boyfriend, my man, or my husband, I would break every bone in your body. Or I would rip every of skin off your entire body. Get away from her. So, of course, I kept on talking and ignoring that. Man, that look. Then another time, I was at another little place. Uh, it was some Arab women. Yep. Sure was. These were Chaldeans. Yep. They was just nice to me. You know, they was really nice to me. And the sisters looked at me like, girl, Ooh, if he was my man, who we would got home, I would cold bust him in his jaw. And it's sad because I don't be trying to flirt with none of these women. It's just we just sitting there just talking, just a regular conversation. You know, I ain't on no slick shit or nothing. You know, but see, one was nice enough to tell me. She said, "Well, you know what?" She said, "The problem with you," she said, "You got that baby face." When you wear your little caps and stuff, you know, you, you look sneaky. And I'm like, I'm not being sneaky. We're sitting here talking. I don't even know you. I don't know your name. You don't know my name. I've never seen you before. Right. I don't understand why are you already ready to commit some type of physical act towards me. And it's sad. Like, a lot of times, I don't know how it is in your city, in your state, brothers, but Females here, black females here, black women here, they don't want you to have no female friends. They don't even want you to have no friends at all. I'm the only friend you need. No, 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 no. Because if you don't know anything about geometry or trigonometry, okay, or calculus or accounting or law, and that's not your field and you're not interested in making it become your field, so I'm supposed to just stay dumb. And they look at you like, yeah, don't get hit. Like I said, it's just really sad because of the fact I go through this a lot with them. You know, it's not my fault that pretty women of different nationalities approach me, you know. It ain't my fault they got fat ass, big titties, you know, young or nicer, built nicer. I even have some 